at uh, ERF on a bright sunny day with uh, three old friends for the uh, e-robotics. I have uh, Ari on my left, Tiago over there, and here we have Francesco Ferro. Hello, Francesco. Hello, Steve. So, here we are, day two of ERF. How are things shaping up from your point of view? ERF now is a reality, so we are proud to be here in Odense uh, after 10 years, because we were here 10 years ago, we have even a pin about the 10th anniversary stuff, and uh, it's a pleasure to be in this community and uh, make part of it and also try to push the limit of it. Okay, so it seems to be important for you, for Pal Robotics, to be um, a, a key sponsor at ERF. Now, what, 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 what is the benefit for you? Why, why do you think it is important to be here in such a prominent way? The idea to sponsor in the RF is uh, a kind of a gratification of the great effort of the local organizer that put a lot of effort in order to make this happening in a good way and uh, for the best for the community. So giving some more money, let me say, like sponsor, is just to recognize the great effort. Okay. So uh, I mentioned before we have uh, Ari and we have Tiago here and um, other, other robots from Power Robotics. So, it seems to me that um, the company is becoming you know, more and more visible and uh, making us an ever greater impact in the uh, in the world of robotics. And uh, I, w I wonder where do you go from here? No, what's what's next for Power Robotics? How do you see the future for the company? It's uh, absolutely a bright future. So we are working in four different areas. From one side, uh, the research area, and so we are trying to push in the humanoid, uh, legged uh, robots. Uh, in Europe in order to just have a better and better solution and work in the real world with the ecosystem. Then we have uh, intralogistic stuff, we have a retail inventory system that is already working and we already installed in the real shop more than 100 robots all around the world. So this is the reality nowadays. But the biggest things probably we will show in ICRA that this time, this year will be in London, so in May and where we will uh, uh, just discover the new Tiago, so the, the, the Tiago 2.0, because we will integrate new arms with serial elastic actuator and brakes in order to enter in the industry side to have a real collaborative certified robot that could really make a big step in the future with, you know, robotics European community. Okay, did you mention, Lon did you mention London then? Correct, UK. Yeah. Yes. It's my hometown. I, I will wait for my invitation. <laughs> okay, you are invited. You can come when you want. And for sure, we will just take the name of Eurobotics over there in order to make the best. Sounds good to me. Final question, which we haven't discussed before, but uh, you know, you're a very keen triathlete. So now what's next on your, uh, on your racing calendar? Wow, I have a lot of things. The first thing is to take it out the Tiago.2.0. This is my a real triathlon because it's, uh, it's something for long term. Okay. And, uh, but from a real race point of view, I will have uh, an Ironman in Cascais, that is in Portugal. Cascais, oh yes. Yes, it will be in October. So probably after uh, the, the first sales of the new Tiago 2. Excellent. Well, good luck to Power Robotics for, for the future and good luck in, uh, in Cascais as well. Okay. okay, thank you very much. It's always a pleasure. <laughs>